<laughs> Importantly. Yeah. Um, we've had lots of questions from uh, Rangers fans as well. Michael Jewell, um, for you, Alex. How long do you think it will be for Rangers uh, before they're back challenging at the top of Scottish football? Three years. Do you think it, it's going to be as, as <coughs> say straightforward, but it's going to be three years before they're straight back up? Yeah, back I, I, be back? I believe so. I believe so. I think that they're trying to get to grips with the the league just now, they've, they've struggled a wee bit in the travels. Yeah. I know that Ali McCoist has, has realised where Rangers are at the moment. Coiste has, has definitely got the mentality to deal with that now. It's making sure that he's got those players on the pitch to, to think likewise. Ibrox doesn't seem to be a problem for them. They've got 45, 50,000 yes, fans. Incredible, remarkable. incredible support of the club. and. They should win all the games at Ibrox. But going away in the travels, they've got to get that mentality into their head where they have, they have to go and win these games. And they've got a couple of great new signings. Young Templeton here, he, he had a terrific game against um, Liverpool at mm -hmm. Anfield a couple of weeks ago. And he's come into the Rangers team, scored a couple in his debut. So he's he's one, one of the guys that... And the, at the end of the day, it's the quality on the pitch. That, that's going to help the manager, and he he's a guy who, who's a game changer. There still seems to be quite a lot that's that's being unravelled with regards to the financial situation, and there's there's all sorts of uh, rumours or, or speculation that they could end up stripping uh, Rangers of yeah. some of the titles, which of course would affect you as well. Um, how, how how do you react to that? <laughs> well, nothing will ever erase the memories that I've got as the Glasgow Rangers manager and. The, the, the trophies that we won, I'll always believe that we've won them. Should we be stripped of them? But I don't see that happening. I don't see how they they can legally do that. I saw a quote from you saying if anybody did come knocking on the door for the a medals, right that you'd, right that you'd knock yeah. them out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, try and take my medals off me. <laughs> but really and truly, when you were there as the manager, and obviously you dealt. Um, you know, with the chairman or whatever else like that. Was it all kosher, all above board, and as far as you Absolutely. were concerned? Absolutely, no, no, nothing was illegal. You know, my my lawyer uh, sat with, with me, Sir David Murray, and, and the, the Rangers chief executive to do the contracts, and everything was legal and above board. So, you know, if your lawyer's sitting there telling you that you can sign that contract without uh, any reproach, then You've got to sign it. If, they, if it does become apparent that there was some financial impropriety that, that clearly you had no understanding of or awareness of, and things had been done that were illegal or weren't right, if, if, the, foot, if the shoe was on the other foot and you were at one of the other sides, let's say you were at Celtic, mm -hmm. would, you, would you want to receive that? Would you say, look, that's not fair, you can't go about uh, illegally doing well, business in the league and then expect to keep your title? I'm going to be stubborn on this one, Ben, to say that, that um, we've done nothing illegal. Mm. You know, so I, I was at that era that I was at Rangers. There was nothing done, nothing illegally done. Yeah. So they shouldn't be taking them. So they, 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 there shouldn't be any way they should be stripping Rangers of titles. The great, the great thing is for Rangers at the moment, though, as you can see, and as you know, that home support is yeah. just remarkable. Just isn't amazing. It? Great show of support. Yeah. It's Worldwide, intense. Rangers are a massive, massive institution. You know, if the, if the, the Rangers, both Rangers and Celtic played in the Premier League, then it would be. You know, four or five years before they showed their real power. Mm -hmm. The backing they would get financially and the, the, just the, the support base that they both, both clubs have. Mm -hmm. there, weren't, there weren't that many uh, goals around uh, yesterday, so we...